Hello guys, in this video we will be talking about the colony forming units or simply known as CFU which is one of the most important uh, terminologies you probably heard as if you are a microbiologist uh, working in microbiology lab. Uh, we just uh, talk it all the time, what is the CFU of the plate? Now what that actually means? Colony forming unit, colony means definitely it's a, it's a mass of bacteria or fungi growing in a agar plate or growing in the uh, potato dextrose agar, what kind of agar we use for fungi as well as for bacteria, uh, it grows on the plate. The idea here about the colony forming unit, definitely that the term suggests all, that is it is a unit, definitely. So it's a unit to measure the viable cell count. So this is a unit to measure the viable cell count. Now when I say viable, what it means? Viable cell means the cell which is in active cell division using binary fission. So if this is cell is in active cell division by binary fission, binary fission means one cell becomes two, then again those become two to four, then those four to eight. So it is exponentially increasing in number. So it is called 2 to the power n. This is the number of the division that takes place. So if a cell is in this active binary fission, binary fission cell division process, that cell can give rise to two cells and that those progeny two cells can give rise to four cells. So those thing is called the viable cell. So they can grow and divide over time to produce exponential number of cells over time, over the generation. So we can measure this, this amount of viable cell that is present in a growing culture or growing culture medium. So the idea here, if I, if I draw it as a, as a petri dish or, or a petri plate, whatever you say, yeah, like that. So in this case, once let's say we have the petri plate, we have the media, solidified media, let's say agar media, and then we we streak it. Uh, we we take a bacterial culture, inoculated by streaking or pour plate method, or whatever different method we use, or spread plate method, whatever it is. So after that, we add this plate to the incubator for the growth. So during the growth process, what we see those bacteria. Once we streak it with very minor content of bacteria, very, very few of the bacteria, just a loop full of culture, very tiny loop, a loop full of culture and then we streak it. So after that what we will find, we will find the development of colonies. Colonies means, that is called the CFU or the colony, that is actually the visible content from those stick, or sticking or pore plate method, whatever it is, the visible colonies that we can see something like that. Some of them are pretty big, large, some of them are smaller and so. So what we see here is the direct visualization. You don't need microscope to see it, you just directly visualize that sometimes the colony looks like white, it looks like yellowish, reddish, brownish, it can be smooth, it can be rough. So you can actually, there are different patterns of colonies, different types of colonies, but actually these colonies are this, this visible content of bacterial mass or fungal mass. So a lot of bacteria are present there, that's where you can see these things. Let's say you take a very tiny thing, you can't probably visualize it, but once you take million of them, thousands of them, combine them together, then you can visualize a little dot like thing, that's the colonies are. So if there's only one bacteria, two bacteria, three bacteria, five, ten bacteria, we cannot see that with our naked eye. But once the bacteria start to grow and divide the, in exponential manner by binary fission from one to two, two to four, four to eight, during that process, it starts growing rapidly and soon all those bacteria start to arrange in a, in a place, they aggregate in the place and we look, we can actually see them from outside and that is called colony. Now remember what in, in microbiology lab what we do, if we count the number of bacteria using it, it is not possible because we can, we, we never know the number of bacteria that is present in one colony here. But what we know from here is that definitely whatever colony it is, it is arised 
it, it is arised due to rapid cell division from one bacterial cell and that single bacterial cell that give rise to a whole colony is termed as a colony forming unit so that bacteria forms this whole colony so that's why we call it a colony forming unit so whatever number of colonies that we see in the agar plate we think that that is the number of bacteria single bacteria that was found as a cfu at the beginning so simply we take this number we count the number and we say this is num this is the number of bacteria that is present in the plate but actually what we are doing here we are taking one colony as one bacteria in this case because one bacteria give rise to this whole colony there right that is the simplest idea so we can calculate it we can calculate it we can tell let's say in in this plate this uh, in other plate let's say in another plate uh, we we do the same thing with another bacteria and in that case we found very few colonies so what we can say here is that this bacteria has very less viability than this bacteria this bacteria is much more viable than this another very important thing why it is a viable cell count measure because we can actually measure the presence of bacteria in many ways microscopic analysis and also this process and anything so in micro microscopic analysis what we can do after the staining we kill all the bacteria because during the staining the bacteria are dead so in that case if you look at it through microscope we cannot differentiate between the living bacteria and dead bacteria because all of them are the same in that case so if we count the number of bacteria present uh, using a microscope or in is a slide uh, we actually count everything dead as well as living but if there is a living bacteria that will never give rise to a bacterial colony so bacterial colony will only be produced from a living bacteria so whatever number of colony we found here we can tell all of them are developed from a living bacteria right so we can tell that yes this is the bacteria these are the bacterium which are developing other bacteria which are actively dividing right now what happens here why we see these colonies in, as a separate entity is not merged with themselves the idea here is most of the bacteria like coccus coccus are small round shaped bacteria so once they divide they attached with itself like a chain like this similarly other bacteria like like bacillus rod shaped bacteria they are attached with themselves like that so they have a tendency to remain firmly attached with themselves so we can see the population at once as a colony right so that is colony forming unit now why we require colony forming unit we need to know the colony forming unit to know the number of viable cells let's say there is a culture present in our lab we want to test that culture before using it for other techniques because if the culture is not viable enough if the culture is containing dead cells we don't want that culture to be used in other experiments so for for most of the experiments we need viable culture which is continuously growing and dividing and we can check it by plating it out to see what kind of colony forming unit we get so the idea here would measure is colony forming unit per plate but that's very arbitrary we also have cfu per milliliter we also have cfu per gram so we have all these ideas we can measure this right there are different machines out there to measure all this there are different softwares out there uh, one of them is called open cfu one of them is called nic nice so these are the softwares nowadays available for counting the colony forming unit or cfu other times we have so previously what we do we need to we need to check for each of these colonies count them manually uh, but now there are techniques uh, the whole plating system is automated now with the spiral plating the technique called spiral spiral plating so these techniques are newly developed they are there so we can actually see how many cfu are present in a plate how many cfu are present in a, in a particular sample specimen which is a liquid sample let's say so cfu per ml we can get the idea it is most most of the time it is used because the culture that we pl placed here is in liquid form so we can use it there so this is uh, the importance of cfu we should know the cfu before in before uh, investing a lot of time and money for the experiments which you do with the bacteria culture so
so that is that's why it's very very important so that's all about cfu and if you like the video uh, please hit the like button subscribe uh, to get more videos like that and also share this with your friends thank you